Hello, hello. My name is Kim Gultam, and I'm a certified master wellness coach through the International Association of Wellness Professionals, as well as the founder of the Empowered Living for Superwoman program. I am super excited to be here with you and to share with you this recipe on how to make a peanut butter chocolate mousse pie. This is so easy. <laughs> so easy. So first you're going to start off with a crust. Um, I just picked one of those ready-made ones that are in the freezer. So if you choose that, just make sure you don't forget you do have to cook that. <laughs> cook that first because what you're about to experience will not need to be cooked. And I will have um, the recipe in the description below. Um, definitely subscribe to my channel so you can get all of my, my latest videos when they're published. But you, the only thing you'll have to cook is this pie crust. If you choose to use a pie crust like this, you could make one using dates and nuts and a little um, agave, your choice, right? Whatever kind you like. But I decided to go with uh, the pre-made crust today. So how do you make a chocolate peanut butter mousse that doesn't require any cooking or, and, or I should say, and one that's healthy. This one you can eat guilt-free. So what are some of the ingredients that we have? We are gonna be using milk. I have been in love with oat milk lately. <laughs> you may have heard that on one of my other uh, smoothie videos. Um, so that's why it's a little beige. And this one's actually vanilla flavored. So I thought, ooh, that'll be fun. Let me just jazz it up. Your, your milk, whatever type you choose, um, does not have to be vanilla flavored. Uh, you can just use straight up milk, whatever you like. Um, but if you wanted to use even a chocolate milk to make it extra chocolatey, you could. So get creative, have fun, right? Make it, make it exciting. We also are gonna be using cacao powder, peanut butter, Silken tofu, and this is a huge thing to know. Silken tofu is different from firm or extra firm tofu. This is softer. This is more for like mousses, like uh, salad dressings. Um, this is like puddings, right? So you want to use silken tofu. And then drum roll, chocolate chips. <laughs> so you can control how much sugar or no sugar is part of this recipe. Um, the one I'm using is semi-sweet from the brand Enjoy Life. I love this one because it's free from like 10 different things. So if you have friends or family that have allergies to wheat, peanuts, tree nuts, dairy, uh, soy, eggs, sesame, sulfites, and the list goes on, um, you can be guaranteed that this doesn't have those. And I am making this for a friend who has some allergies. So this is the, the one that works for me. Now you can get, because this one is the, um, the semi-sweet mini chips, you can get the dark chocolate, which has, I believe, zero sugar. Um, so you have options to play with this. So one of the first things we're going to do is I'm going to open the tofu. This is super simple. Just got my handy little knife. You don't have to do a lot with this like you do with firm tofu. Just going to drain it over here on my sink real quick. And you're going to use the whole block. So you see, it's big. <laughs> but that's it. And I'm actually just going to go right here and stick it into my blender. Boom. Done. See how it's so different? It has a completely different texture than the extra firm and firm tofu that you might have used or seen um, in a restaurant. So what's the next step of this? Because everything is obviously going to eventually get into a blender, but you've got this burner thing going on, Kim. We are going to melt the chocolate chips. But I'm only going to melt them halfway. Might need to get that knife back out. There we go. This doesn't take long either. You're going to melt them just enough. Now, 
you do have options. You might say, you know, Kim, I don't want my mousse to have any crunch. Then that's fine. If you don't, then melt this all the way. I like having a little extra crunch in mine, so I'm going to only partially melt this because that means some of the chocolate chips, yes, they're going to all go into the blender, but it's going to have that grainier texture. And I'll show you what this looks like. So you can see it's melting right now. So I'm going to just have it go a little bit more. Oh, I upset the machine. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it didn't like being taken off. And again, you get to decide. How melted do I want this to be? Okay, I think that is perfect. So hopefully you can see. It's still a little chunky but not too chunky, in my opinion. And while that's still warm, I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my blender. Now again, this is not super hot, because if it were super hot, I might have to be worried about it affecting my blender. I just had it on low to melt long enough to get it melted, but still semi crunchy. Okay. So that is that for this. I'm gonna actually just scooch that over here, put that on top of that towel. So what's the next ingredient? Peanut butter. I'm gonna add my peanut butter in here. And again, you could use crunchy peanut butter if you want to add a little extra crunch. If you're allergic to nuts, um, feel free to use sunflower butter or uh, use almond butter or use cashew butter if, you know, again, if you can do nuts. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of cacao powder. I mean, you've got magnesium in here, you've got iron in here, you've got potassium in here, protein out the wazoo. Now I'm adding in my oat milk. So now I've got a little grain. Oh my gosh, in green, I don't know if you know, but oat milk has, um, oats in general have a lot of fiber as well as protein. And then guess what? That's it. Just need to switch my plugs here for my cord and the burner. Get everything going in my blender. It's gonna make a little noise. And it doesn't take long. I'm gonna double check and see if there's anything that needs to get just pushed down just a little bit. Make sure it got into the, the blades. I just have a few more things I want to make sure get in there. I'm gonna run it just a little bit longer. I can make a little bit more noise. Boom. It's so awesome. I'm so excited. So I don't know about you, but I like to take out this part first. Obviously, depending upon the type of blender you have, um, that might not be necessary. In other words, I tend to end up it falling out, making a splash of chocolate everywhere. <laughs> See, I learned, how, that's how most people learn from trial and error, right? It's like, oh, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Okay. Alrighty, that's perfect. I'll plop that in here for now. And then I'm going to get the rest of the stuff out of the blender. So if you've got some birthday parties coming up, virtual Super Bowl, Whatever kind of parties that are happening these days, events, and you're looking for some 
fun cake, fun pie that you can feel pretty uh, good about and not feel guilty, this is one of those. And it doesn't take long. And then after this, I'm just going to stick it in the fridge for a few hours and then it's going to solidify and then it will be ready. 100% ready because it actually will get thicker than the, what you've already been seeing me pour out. Because you can see this is pretty thick, but it gets even thicker. So I just spin it a little bit with my spatula to make it look pretty. I'm not a pastry chef or icing chef by any means. So I'm sure you could make it a lot prettier. You could throw um, shredded coconut on top or sprinkle some additional chocolate chips if you didn't want to melt them all. Um, you could put on Hershey Kisses, right? You can get creative. But this is what your pie is going to look like. That's it. And let it sit in the fridge for, again, a few hours. It'll solidify. And lights, camera, action, your pie is ready to go. So let me know how this chocolate peanut butter, I should say, peanut butter and chocolate mousse pie works out for you. Again, I do have the description uh, of the uh, recipe in the uh, description below. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care. Here's to happy, healthy cooking. Bye.